What was your favorite gift that you've ever received for Christmas? Uh, what was that gift that really stood out to you and just made you go, wow, that's awesome. I can't believe I got that for Christmas. If you've got a favorite gift, I would love to hear it. Definitely put it in the comment section below, or you can email me, Tom P at New Life That Church. I would love to hear what your favorite Christmas gift was. Now, my name is Tom Pounder. I'm the online campus pastor here at New Life Christian Church, and I appreciate you spending some time with me as we walk through a little devotional and some encouragement today. But for me, the uh, the favorite gift, I don't know if I really have a favorite gift that I've ever received for Christmas. I mean, I mean, I remember when I was younger, I got a Cobra uh, battleship uh, boat uh, that I got, and we were visiting my grandparents, and I got it, and we, we immediately went to the bathtub and just started playing with this uh, Cobra, G.I. Joe Cobra uh, uh, boat. I remember uh, some hockey equipment I asked for for Christmas, and I got it uh, from my parents. I was really into hockey my middle school and high school years. I remember the guitar I asked for and got um, for Christmas my sophomore year in college. Uh, I was terrible at guitar, but I still wanted it and uh, I was able to get that. And I remember, this is going really far back, um, but when it was still called the WWF, World Wrestling Federation, but my parents got my brothers and I uh, World Wrestling Federation tickets to the Cap Center. It was called the Cap Center back then. It's actually not even around anymore, uh, but it's where the bullets and the caps and the, well, the wizards and the caps played uh, their games. But we got to play, watch Hulk Hogan wrestle, and that was like a huge deal for us when we were much younger. But, you know, as I reflect on it, I, I think of those times, like it's harder for me to think of like the favorite gift I had. But what's not hard for me to think about is the gifts that I have given other people. And I saw their faces and saw the joy and the, the encouragement in their smile and their laughter and just the joy in their life uh, after I've given them a gift. I, I, I think um, all the time, like for Christmas and for birthdays, when I get a good gift for um, my family, it's just such a, a big deal. And I, I, I it warms my heart. See, I'm a, I'm a gift giver. That's one of my love languages. I love to give gifts and I love to see the joy on their faces. And it, it kind of reminds me of a time uh, when my girls were younger. Uh, I don't ask for a lot of gifts. I'm pretty simple like that. I don't know why. It's just some probably some weird <laughs> issue I have from dating from my youth of why I don't ask for gifts a whole bunch. But with my girls, like when they were younger, the, we had Christmas Day and it was just a great time and they had so much fun. And then one of them, I was sitting on my chair and uh, one of my girls came up to me and, and just was kind of sad. And she thought, well, dad, you didn't get any gifts. And and uh, I feel bad for you. And I'm like, don't feel bad for me. Seeing the joy on your face is the best gift I could ever get. And I'm not kidding. I mean, seeing the joy on their face, I, I was so happy that day, just seeing the joy on my daughter's faces. And it kind of reminds me of a, of a Bible verse about um, in Acts chapter 20, where Paul talks about giving. And it says this, this is uh, Acts chapter 20, verse uh, 35. In all things I've shown you that by working hard uh, in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It's more blessed to give than receive. I feel that all the time when I give to other people. And so in this holiday season, this Christmas time of year, I want to just talk about just three simple things that you can do to give this year rather than to receive. There are three simple things. And the first one is this. You can give of your time. You know, how can you help someone else in your in your world, in your life, in your community that you know? Is there someone in your life that needs some help? Is it a single mom who needs help babysitting? Is it a family that needs yard work done or something done? How can you give of your time to help someone else? That's one thing that you can do. The second thing you can do is to give of your talents. God has richly blessed us all with different talents. We've all gotten different skill sets and we're all good at different things. How can you use that to help other people? You know, maybe you're gifted in technology. Is there someone who's really looking to uh, need help on a resume or need help with some tech issue that they're going through? Well, serve them. Give of their time. You know, I know at the church, this time of year is really, really busy. And there's lots of opportunities for you to serve during uh, leading up to Christmas and also Christmas Eve services. There's lots of opportunities on Christmas Eve. If you would like to serve on Christmas Eve and you got talents and you got abilities and you want to give of your talents and gifts, 
email me, Tom P at New Life Church. I would love to be able to connect you with people where you can use your talents and your gifts for God's purposes. When we give back to God, I just feel like great things happen and God is glorified, which is ultimately what we want to do with our gifts. So you can give of your time, you can give of your talents, and then you can give out of your blessings. Again, God has blessed us all differently. You know, I, I remember a story of a guy, um, a guy in my life, he was a mentor of mine, um, who actually gave financially uh, when I was much younger to help me with something that we were going through, uh, my my family and I were going through. And I just felt, I actually felt guilty for getting it and receiving it. And he said, God, God has richly blessed him and he wants to use God's blessing to help someone else. And so he was blessing me with God's provision. God has blessed you. How can you give back of your blessings to other people? How can you give back? If you want to give today to New Life, again, what New Life is doing, we're doing a lot of work around the community right now, but we're also doing a lot of work around the world. We're planting churches. We're helping in community events. We're doing a lot of great things, and you can bless other people by being a part of what God's already doing. So if you want to give today, you can go to newlife.church slash give and give of the blessings that God has blessed you with. You can bless somebody else. I always know that when my family, my, my family has been blessed in different ways. Um, my parents growing up to see the blessings that they got and how they blessed other people, especially during this time of year, those in need. Uh, it was a very powerful experience. So think about different ways that out of your blessings, you can bless other people. So again, three simple things. They're very simple, but they're very impactful. You can give of your time, you can give of your talents, and you can give out of your blessings. I want to encourage you to just prayerfully consider how you might give this year rather than receive. That you would focus this year on how you can give to others more than you can receive from others. God's going to bless you. And the great thing about it is God's going to use it to bless so many other people because of the generosity in your heart. Hey, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you for who you are. And thank you for blessing us um, richly. You have blessed us all differently and uniquely. So I ask, Lord, that out of our time and our talents and our blessings, that we can help uh, encourage others during this time of year. Uh, really help us make a difference and bring glory to you in everything we do. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. May God bless you richly today. I hope you have a great day.